Lord of the Rings. I want to tell you about my first introduction to J.R. Tolkien as a child. And it was this, Lord of the Rings 1978 on VHS tape. A mix of beautiful hand-drawn animation and rotoscoped elements of real actors. And also the war doctor himself, John Hurt, is in this movie. Beautifully done and actually very much a film of its time. I will say the influence of this film is quite big and the influence is also in Jackson's work as well. You see kind of this influence for roll through and there is a scene in this that he directly more or less recreated for the trilogy is it a perfect adaptation no it's a very efficient adaptation so let me explain it comprises the key moments from the fellowship of the ring and the key moments from the two towers it presents it as one film and overall it's a very efficient it doesn't actually add anything original it just chops out a hell of a lot. It's only 130 something minutes, but I'm not entirely sure on the runtime depending on where you are in the world. There was also a cancelled sequel that was going to be Return of the King, but that never happened. So, what can I say about this? It's definitely a weird and very unique interpretation of The Lord of the Rings, and very much its influence comes through in some Disney films that came after, and a lot of animated fantasy at the time. Even the BBC adaptation of C.S. Lewis was influ influenced by this in small quantities. They mentioned it in something as well. Overall, this is a very condensed version of the story, and it presents it very well. Unlike a lot of animated movies, it tries to do its best with the source material, and it doesn't feel like it's been dumbed down but it's very much obviously made for children. On it. I really do believe that, although not seeing... There's a whole thing here, and I'm not going to go into it. But it is rated you, and it's a nice first intro for kids who want to just know the basic story and actually look at some pleasant animation. It has a look, it has a style, and it's brilliantly done. On the other side of it, there is a joke. How many Germans does it take to screw in a light bulb? One, because Germans are efficient. Every I work, <laughs> I've worked with some German people, and the efficiency is off the charts. And I mean that, and there's a compliment. This film is the living embodiment of that joke. It's an efficient adaptation of Tolkien. It tells the story, but trims out a lot of stuff. It just tells the story of the, of the Fellowship of the Ring and the Two Towers into one film. The unmade sequel... So, very early on, this started as a trilogy, and that didn't happen because of budgetary. Then it became two films, and the final film was going to be a full adaptation of The Return of the King, but that didn't happen. There is an animated movie from the 80s called Return of the King, but that's a separate thing, and there's also an animated adaptation from 77 of The Hobbit, which is also not related to this film in any way, in any way, shape, or form. This film does some really interesting things, and the animation looks good, and it's a nice film. My biggest thing with this film is the music. The soundtrack to this film is gorgeous. I think it's a hundred-piece orchestra mixed with a hundred-piece choir and a hundred-piece boys choir, and it has this really lovely richness. It does, an, uh, it does do a rush job with a lot of the Two Towers stuff, like Gollum being reduced to maybe two scenes, where he's really the focus. And it's definitely a ambitious project. I do respect the ambition behind this. Do I think it's an amazing, life-changing movie? No. I think it's a really charming adaptation of Tolkien's work, great for kids, enjoyable, that's had an influence that has kept rolling with a great soundtrack. The music is the best thing. I do revisit this movie. I do go back and listen to it and watch it and all of this stuff because it just takes me back to that nice happy childhood place. Happy memories of sitting in the living room with the VHS copy of this that I think was pretty old when I got it. <laughs> A solid little adaptation and really my first intro to this, to Tolkien's world. If it hadn't have been for this film, I don't think I would have fallen in love with his work in the same way. When the Lord of the Rings peter jackson films came out i was a teenager and it was like oh my god i remember this and then i reread i started reading the books i'd read the hobbit but i never read the lord of the rings 
It was a bit too complicated for me until I was about th uh, 13 or 14, and then it all fell into place. Why a flawed movie? An efficient and fun adaptation of Tolkien's work. It's nice to go back to that place of nostalgia. If I was rating it as an adaptation of the novels, I would give it a 5 out of 10. If I was rating it as an independent thing, I would probably give it a 8 out of 10. Take this any way you want. If you really want to just kind of get your kids involved, get the younger people in your family knowing about Tolkien, this is a great film. And I think I wore that VHS tape out. <laughs> and as a kid, you know, elves and hobbits and swords and horses taking on the baddie and evil orcs. It's a charming movie. Flawed, but very charming.